Hey there guys, I'm the Mr. Marvel of the OVP Create Guide and today we're going to be making a selection menu with sub-menus. So for example, player presses options and then it brings up another menu which says difficulty or sound. You can have whatever options you like, but these are basically the default that I'm going to have. Now, my plan is that this menu I've already made will be on the middle layer this option uh, difficulty and sound will be on the back layer just let you know put it on front view first if you want so you can line it up and I think that'll do yeah okay so take it a front view that's on the very back and that's on the middle make sure you've got that f if you want to follow me directly and I've already pre-made these, you can make these yourself. Um, I've also made the numbers here, which is 1 to 10. Or you could make 0 to 9. And here we have pre-made easy and hard modes, like difficulties. And the left and right arrow button type thing. And I need to change the background colour of this. Darker blue. Yep. Okay. Now, first off, we'll start off with the control animator. This, e these are the settings you want. Um, disable pop it control. You might want that as well. Okay. Let's get started. First off, we want to make. Let's 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 set this out big so you can see it properly. So, selector. Now, depending on how many options you have on the first menu, so one, two, three, we have here, we choose three. We then need an OR gate, which will then take the up and down left stick and the up and down buttons and have them connect through the cycle setting in here to make it neat so you could always throw that there. Okay, so this would have to be upside down so it works right. So bottom goes there, middle goes there, and top goes there. Once you've done this, you now have your working selection menu if you unpause. So up and down will change the selection. Let's check. Down, up. So you can go round like that if you like. So now, if you uh, now with we want now we want an option. So when you press when you hide when you uh, hop sorry hover over options and press X. So at the minute it's on hovered and it does nothing. So what we want is an AND gate. It goes here get this wire which is the middle one and the X which goes in here switch those around however it doesn't matter which way they are okay so no, I'm going to do that <laughs> okay the so now when X and options is highlighted it will do something whatever we plug onto here so let's have a one shot switch which you go on a counter and make it to one and plug it in there so now it will set off the counter once options and uh, options and X is highlighted uh, options is highlighted and X is pressed what this will do what we want it to do is bring these forward so make sure everything is glued together here so I don't know, highlight the words and hold X. Just find a way to stick them down. Okay. And then what we want is a chip here. I don't know, anywhere, doesn't really matter. Just put it somewhere. And we want to get in and out mover. And we want two of those. One will be move in 
and one will be moved out once. Okay. And you can allow pushing, whatever you like. You could either do that, or you could put it move to the middle, and then move to the back, depending on where you've put your layers. If you did it the same as me, do the same as me. So once again, move to the back, move to the middle. So when this is when X and options is selected, so when options is selected basically, do that. So it's going to move to the uh, to the middle layer, meaning it will move forward. Um, then what we need to do is get a not gate. So read this out. Means when options is pressed, it will activate this. And when this is activated, it will move them to the middle. But when it's not, so when this is not, when options is not pressed, it will be at the back. Okay, and what I want to do quickly is have this and get a not gate, put it in the middle, change it into a invert state option no so it doesn't invert it's actually just running through it and looks neater I suppose so put it through there and bring that through there so this is basically your circle button and uh, you can put it red to represent the circle button if you like and basically what we want is if um, this options is selected drag this into activate so if they are on the options menu but they want to go back they press circle and it will reset this option okay now we've got another problem um, well, we will have in a minute. <laughs> okay, sorry, right, I'm getting ahead of myself here. Basically, copy that one and get the same wire. So, the wire is this. And hook it in there. So, these two should have the wi same wire coming from them. These two here. Okay. Uh, you can put that in the top corner, wherever you want. I don't know, make it m small as you like. Just keep it on the object itself. So, now, just move this. So I can go right like this. Go to preview. They move forward, press circle, they go back, and I can carry on with the menu. But here's the problem we can bring the menu up and carry on doing this. That is not what we want. Now to fix that, this is what we're going to do. Now, what we do need is a selection menu, if there's another one you can get from the poppet, or just copy that. Make it two options, because we have two options here. So, when what we need now is another microchip. Put that in here. And this counter will enable the microchip. Then into this microchip we want this same cable that for the analog stick and the buttons. So that goes in the cycle. Can move this up. The wires get a bit are getting a bit complicated now, but just as long as you follow me you should be okay. So one of the options highlights well, activates this, and one of them activates this. And what we do want is for this. Just get rid of those, and they we want that to activate these things here. So click those. Okay. Just 
what it looks like for the player currently. Right. Now what we want to do is just for the sake of it, press X and there we go. But you can see the left option menu is still moving. That's not what we want. So, what we do now is also put this in a microchip here and have it so if this is on get a not gate plug that into there and plug that into there so if the second if you press options then it will disable this menu as you can probably see here now so now we have the freedom to do this and then we can go back